What's going on YouTube? It's Goose here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to defend bunch verticals or verts half back under or pats verts, whatever it's called. It's all the same thing and it's the best play in the game by far. It's super, super hard to stop. You won't be able to stop it 100% of the time just because of how the game plays and some routes, even if you cover them really well, will still be able to get open and it's just how it is. But I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to try and defend it because it'll be the play that you face more than any other play in the game. If this video ends up helping you guys now, please let me know by leaving a like down below and let's get right into the video. All right, so on offense, we're in the Carolina Panthers playbook here. Bunch offset running Burt's halfback under. And on defense, we're going to be in 3-3-5 wide. Um, we're in the 4-6 playbook, starting in 3-3-5 normal. So we're subbing safeties in at linebacker here. We got Quandre Diggs and Ninth of Warrior um, and usering Jamal Adams. And we like doing this to, like I said, get safeties at linebacker. They're faster. They're going to animate for more passes and they're going to play better coverage in general. So you can do this out of the multiple defense playbook or the 4-6 playbook. And we really like doing this. So make sure in 55 wide, you have your audible set. Um, we want, at least what I do is I like having Tampa two, Mike blitz three and cover four, and then some version of main coverage in here. So, um, but for most of this, we're going to be running Mike blitz three. All right. So there's a couple different ways that they can run verticals. Most of them are just half back on an in route, half back on an out route. Oops, it, it feels like that. And then uh running back on a wheel route so i'll just like, show you guys how to stop those and it's basically just one setup it just depends on what you use it all right so we'll start with an in route because that's what the stock play is and that's how most people run it so we're going to audible over to mike blitz three here now i like to press um and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um spread our defensive line and crash them up this is going to help a lot with the with the sheds just it's going to be a three-man rush most of the time um and that'll just help you get the best sheds possible and then the first coverage adjustment we'll make is we're going to put our linebacker on the bunch side here in a bluff blitz and this will put him in a three rack three racks are one of the best zones in the game they are super underutilized and they're very good at covering a lot of the meta and we'll you know pesky little you know check down routes that a lot of plays have so once we do that we're going to shade our defense our just hold defense down so it's triangle down the right stick shade underneath so we got hard flats and we got the three rack out there and you'll see what the three rack is out there for it's for the halfback on those little in routes or any drag across the middle anything like that the three rack is going to bag it's going to play better than any other zone by far all right so Last adjustment, we're going to put this linebacker here, and we're going to man him up on the tight end, all right? So this will stop all of the wheel routes that he could possibly be on. If you're facing mesh spot or verticals or anything, cross the tight end is always a good idea. So this is what the defense is going to look like. This is pretty much it. And so you'll see all we want to do with our user is we're going to cover the crosser ourselves. So something I like to do a lot this year because there's so many routes that are really hard to find a uh, man coverage, uh, find a way to match them or have man coverage play them or no zones will play them is you just got to use them. So we're just going to cover the crosser ourselves. All right. So this is the defense shade down three rec, hard flats, cross the running, cross the tight end, excuse me. And we're just going to snap this and we're just going to guard the cross ourselves and we're going to, you know, get a shed eventually and, and come in for the quarterback. So I'll show you in the replay here what it looked like. So, We'll, we'll start with this linebacker right here. We can get to him. So he is in this shade down three rec, like I mentioned earlier. And watch how he plays the running back on this in route. All right. So he's going to he's gonna go over to the middle of the field. And then he's going to follow this running back all the way until the hard flat can take over. All right. This zone is just so, so good. If there was a drag on the field going right to left, he would play that in the middle of the field too. And then transfer to the running back until the hard flats can take over. So... If you have hard flats and a shade down three rec, there's really nothing short over the middle of the field that'll that'll get open. It's super, super good and underutilized zone. Um, and that's why we use it for a bunch. Uh, so next you see the tight end. We'll transfer over to this linebacker if we can get on him. Oops, right here. 
He, after the ball snapped, he's just cross made in the tight end. Pretty simple. Stop this wheel route. All right. And then we're just using the crosser over here. Okay. So pretty simple. Um, now we'll just move on into if they put an out route on the, on the running back. Nothing's going to change here. We're going to use the crosser still. Um, defense will look like this. They have the running back on an out route. This will be even easier because the hard flat from the safety is right there to just take the running back right away and and uh, pretty bagged, all right? So um, one more I'll just show you guys if they put the running back on a wheel route because it is going to change how you use her a little bit. But we're going to set up the... We're going to put... Set up the offense, set up the defense now. All right, so just like this now... The wheel route and the crossing route, the problem with this route combo is that they run to the same part of the field. So you can use or both of them at the same time. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda go towards the wheel route a little earlier and then kinda transition into a path with our user that'll allow us to guard both routes at the same time. All right, so they're gonna snap this ball. We'll kinda be over here by the wheel. And if they pick one of these routes, it's just a pure guess read and they're just guessing which one you don't use her and if in madden 22 with how easy offense is we are fine with them doing that because they're gonna guess wrong 50 percent of the time and it'll be a pick so we are totally fine letting them do this now if we go to onto our user here and we see if your user's in this area right here by the wheel most people are just they're just not gonna throw it because you're there and if, if they if they do throw it then you can be a little more aggressive um but we're we are here on both routes and i know the wheel looks open but if they're confident enough to throw that then or you have a good user you can pretty quickly just snap onto it because you're running right with both routes they're running to the same part of the field you're right with both of them it's really easy to just you know move two feet and pick off whichever they throw so this is the defense I love the most versus, versus bunch of verticals. I hope it helps you guys out. Um, it does have some weaknesses, of course. Uh, it can be beaten with different plays and stuff, but that's true with any defense in this Madden. I'm just here to help you guys with this play specifically because it is the best overall play in the game. Can't really run man coverage against it. You kind of just got to run a specific zone coverage setup that'll defend um, you know, most of the routes here. And like I said, there will still be times where you know, they fit something in, maybe you, you didn't use or something properly, or a route just got open just because it's Madden 22 and that happens. But I hope this guy, this video helps you guys out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.